All right, well, um, I'm going to be getting into um, getting back into my RC now. By the way, I know you lot can't actually see my head, um, but it's the only way that I can get it close enough so that you can see the cars, but far enough away that you can see me. So I'm here though. Hello. So, but yeah, I'm going to be getting back into my old um, RC, I think. Um, so what I've done is I've gone up in the loft and I've dug out all of my uh, old cars. Now, I got into RC when I was, well, I don't know, I think I was about 10. There's pictures of me um, when I was about 10 with my first ever truck, which I'll show you in a minute, which is on the floor. I'll show you that in a minute. But um, I I've had them for a long while now. Um, but as you know, I've got the drift car. This is my drift car. Um, the body's on it, it's a bit smashed up now. Um, there's not a lot really left of it. Um, it. Used to be an S15, but not anymore. So it's smashed up, it's a HPI um, car. Um, electric. Um, I would take the shell off. I might uh, do that in another video. But uh, yeah, so we've got that one. Um, I'm probably going to do a bit of drifting, uh, maybe. Um, but that's electric, so. But I've also got quite a lot of nitro cars. Um, I've recently sold quite a few of them. Um, I sold six of them recently on eBay. But um, this one here, some of you watching this might be familiar with such a truck. I'll zoom in so that you can see it a bit better. We'll see what we can do, shall we? There we go. It's a um, HPI Savage 21, but um, the 21 engine in this actually went bang. Oh, I mean, this is the first ever nitro car that I had. Um, it's taken a, a very hard beating, it's, it's had a very hard life indeed. So, first ever one I had, it's about 10 years old now, the truck itself. Um, it's had three new engines, it's had numerous gearboxes, this is the three speed gearbox in it at the minute, numerous air filters, um, <laughs> everything pretty much has been renewed apart from the frame here. Um, the only thing that hasn't been renewed is the frame, um, that's the original, it's this new tank, I split that open many many times, um, servers are original. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the 4.6 engine what's in it, um, but as you can see it's, it's taken a bit of a beating, um, it's all scratched up, um, this has been sat in the loft now for about, oh yeah it's got a disc brake on it as well, I forget about it, but this, this has been sat in the loft now for about four years, um, all my nitro cars have been sat in the loft for about four years now. Um, you know, it's just, it's just the way it is. I haven't used them. The suspension's gone all saggy. Um, probably needs new suspension. It doesn't want to go up anymore. Uh, don't know whether that's down to the shocks or whether that's down to the springs, to be honest with you. But that's all gone funny. Um, it doesn't even want to hold its own weight anymore, to be honest with you. It just about doesn't really go up and do a lot anymore. But um, this, like I say, this was the first one I ever had, so. I'm pretty sure this is about 10 years old, this truck, um, like I said, most of it's been replaced, but I've had it about 10 years, I'm pretty sure. Um, I used to take it around skate parks, I used to take it everywhere, it's been everywhere, fields, skate parks. I used to have a backpack on the on my back with the fuel and the toolbox in, and I used to go around the streets just with it in front of me, just going around the streets, just, you know, just, uh, I used to go everywhere with me, this truck. Used to go absolutely everywhere. Um, it was a good wheelie machine as well. Did did do good wheelies, but um, yeah, it definitely took a beating over the years. Uh, all the plastics all coming off. That's all broken. Um, all this is broken. Everything. Uh, it's going to need a bit of TLC on it. Went through so many clutches. You would not believe how many clutches uh, this truck went through when I used to go. Um, through grass fields because it was all thick grass, it just wear a clutch out. <coughs> but anyway, 
So I've dug that one out of the loft. Um, needs a new shell. Shell is that? Really? It's the original shell. It's the original Savage 21 shell. Um, like I say, those of you that are familiar with this, they might even better tell me how old it is, but it's taken a proper beating. It's all smashed. It's landed on its on its roof many many times. Scraped all the hole in the roof and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I had a lot of good fun times with this truck. Um, in fact, I, I do miss using using my nitro cars. Hence why I'm going to get back into men now. Now we go on to the second ever nitro car that I had. The second ever nitro car that I bought. The, the Savage 21 I actually got for a Christmas present. Um, I got it as a Christmas present. I'm sure I was about 10 years old anyway. I got it as a Christmas present. But this nitro rush I bought with my own money. It was two hundred pounds back then. That savage. That was about three hundred and fifty quid when I got that. This was two hundred quid. I'm pretty sure one hundred and ninety-nine pound. I can remember remember it now. Going down into the shop down. I think it was a uh, JD Models, which ain't there no more. Down in Rayleigh. So yeah. So this was the the second one that I ever had. But this one actually suffered um, suffered a bit of a a problem where the bearing, the bottom end bearing, decided to come up um, and get jammed. He used to got all the hair, man. This is when it was, looks like something's been nibbling on the air filter as well. I don't know. This was, um, she kept at my parents' house for a while and they had cats and, and dogs um, before I bring it back to mine. But, um, yeah, so that engine isn't any good. I have got another engine, but I don't know whether it'll fit. This is the second uh, nitro car that I ever had. Um, very good car. Um, I do like the rushes. The only problem was I was always snapping the drive shafts. Um, this is the the Evo 2, the second one they bring out. They bring out the first one, which was yellow, had a yellow shell on it, and it worked quite as good mechanically. I don't think this is the second one they bring out. This one itself has got to be seven years old. I'm pretty sure this is about seven years old, this this truck, because I bought it about two years after I got the, the Savage. <coughs> so yeah, we've got some jellyfied fuel in there. It's not very good to start with, a bit of jellyfied fuel. But um, let's have a look. I have got another engine. I did sell an engine with my other trucks. I've got this box here with a nice smiley face on. You've got to love a nice smiley face. Got to be happy always. Anyway. Oh, look. I didn't realise that was in there. The Mini T. Little electric car that I bought because it was like a mini version of the Rush. Um, yeah. What a lovely thing. This was good fun, this was. It's just like a mini version of the Rush, but it's electric. It's uh, great fun. I didn't realise that was in there. Two little fans on there. Where's it gone? There he is. <laughs> Man, I miss all this RC stuff. Right. So, yeah, I've got. I've only got one engine left. I did sell an engine. Oh, look. There's a picture of me when I was about. 13 or so doing a wheelie on one of my old dirt bikes. Huh, it's amazing stuff you find in old boxes, isn't it? Anyway, yes, yeah, so I've got this engine here. I'm wondering if it might fit in the rush. Um, I don't know, it's possible. Uh, I'll see how it goes. If not, I'll just go and buy a, a rush engine, it's simple as that. It's, they're not expensive, about 100 quid, I think. Um, this one, I think, will give me by my old boss one day. Anyway, set of old crystals in there. There's uh, old starts, some washers, clips. I don't know what that is. <coughs> Part of the old, old um, gearbox will probably come out of the rush when I shredded that. I don't know. Any stickers, race spec stickers. What I thought was a drive shaft, but it's some sort of something else. Oh, there's plenty of stuff in there. 
servo things and all kinds of stuff in that box. The old crystals, I don't even think they use crystals anymore. I think it's all digital or something now, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm going to try and get the rush going. Uh, probably stick a new engine in there. So, <coughs> so far, that's as far as we've got here. So I've got two nitro cars. Bear in mind, I sold six of them recently on eBay because they were. Uh, it was it was a magazine. This one. Um, it was uh, you. You buy the magazine and you get a different part each time and every time, and you can build a car. That was quite enjoyable. Um, so yeah, I, I've done it all. I, I built it all. <coughs> put it all together. And it was a little car, nice little car, used it about three times and uh, the rear uh, differential shredded and that was that, no more car. So I'm only keeping it because I built it. Um, it's meant to be a Voxel Astra. Okay, it's made by Tamiya, I think. Um, Kyosho servos on it. I'm pretty sure it's made by Tamiya, but <coughs> anyway. Then, well, I've got in here is I've got the controllers for each car. I've got, I've actually got six controllers, but I don't know why. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get into the uh, back into the RC a bit more. So you'll be seeing more of this RC stuff as well. Um, I did have an RC excavator, a dumper and a dozer. Um, the dozer was a Bruder conversion. I had that as well, but I sold them all on eBay. It's a closer look at the Savage, man. It definitely took a beating. Definitely took a 100% of a beating, man. I can't. I had so much fun with this truck, though. Definitely, definitely made its money's worth, you know what I mean? Um, the money's worth is definitely there. Definitely. And if anyone is in the UK and they have a, a hydraulic RC excavator and they want to, and they fancy having a CR500 quad bike and they want to do a swap, go for it. We'll do a swap. 